Yo, what's up everybody? So today is a great intro video if you're starting out in Octane Render inside of Cinema 4D. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how to just set up any kind of basic render when you're using Octane. So outside of setting up your live viewer, which you know, you'll come in here and make sure that you set up the proper kernel setting, whether it's direct lighting or path tracing. And then after you do that, you're gonna to want to go into the actual Cinema 4D render settings, which is Control B or Command B to bring that up. Now, the first thing you want to do is you need to change your renderer from standard to octane renderer. And then in the output setting, set up whatever output you need to render your file at. And then if you're just doing a still image, you can just come in here and make sure it's just set to current frame. Otherwise, if you're doing an animation, you can either set it manually or have it set to all frames. So I'm just going to do a uh, still frame right now and set it to current frame and current frame will do wherever the playhead is within the timeline and then you just simply set up the save output um, i can set up whatever kind of format that i want my render to be saved at here and then the file location by selecting this file icon and setting up where i want my output to re-render to now if you are rendering within your camera here to have denoised, you have to make sure that is checked on. I do not have denoise um, in my Octane camera here, and so I do not need that enabled for my render. But if you do have that set up here, you wanna make sure that you have this checked on, use denoise beauty pass. And that is it. That is how you're gonna be really easily able to render out of Cinema 4D. And then lastly, just kick off that render by hitting Shift R or coming up here to this taskbar and hitting this little movie clap icon with the play button.